Hey everyone, this is Namalgia Video for Animal Crossing New Horizons on the Nintendo Switch, and today we're going to be talking about how to get the cicada shell and everything to do with fireworks in August. First up, let's talk about the cicada shell. In the Northern Hemisphere, you can catch it between July and August, and it's available all day long. In the Southern Hemisphere, you can catch it between January and February, and it's also available all day long. I don't find the cicada shell particularly rare, but I have had a lot of people ask me to put a video up about it, so I'm not entirely sure what the hang-up is, but we'll go into the specifics now. The cicada shell is only worth a measly 10 bells, and it's one of the only insects that doesn't move at all, for obvious reasons. To make the cicada shell's significance even more confusing, it has its own Nook Miles achievement. And it doesn't really make much sense to me, but you can donate it to the museum, although it is in the Critterpedia, so it makes sense in that way. I'm just going to chalk up the game's strange fixation on the cicada shell as a cultural thing. On trees, it looks like a beetle. It doesn't move at all, and if you run into the tree, it doesn't drop, so it's extremely easy to catch if you can find it. While its time range is all day long, I've seen it mostly at night. Originally, I thought it would have something to do with the other cicadas, but it doesn't seem to be connected in any way. It's just a little bit easier to see at night when all the cicadas are gone. Also, my town is located in the Southern Hemisphere, so I had to visit friends in order to be able to catch the cicada shell and many of the other summer beetles, and it can be caught while an airport gate is open. Since the game connects the cicada shell so strongly to summer, let's talk about August and the fireworks show. Interestingly, even the Southern Hemisphere can participate in the fireworks show in August. The fireworks show happens every Sunday in August, and it starts at 7 p.m. The two familiar faces for this event will be Isabel outside the Resident Services building and Crazy Red, who runs a raffle. Everyone's favorite shady cousin is back with 12 new prizes that you can win by paying him 500 bells for each chance you want to take at his lottery. I'll talk about Crazy Red's prizes first, and then I'll talk about what you can get from Isabel. When 7 p.m. hits, you'll be able to see the fireworks in the air. Head on down to the town square in order to partake in the festivities. In addition to Isabel and Crazy Red, you'll find many of the town's people assembled in the square looking up at the fireworks, and some will even give you fireworks to shoot off yourself. Talking to Crazy Red doesn't actually do anything, and you need to talk to the box on the stand in order to participate in his raffle. As I mentioned before, each try is 500 bells, and the odds seem to be pretty even. The other good news is that the way the dialogue options are set up is that you can just spam A over and over again to keep going through lottery chances and just accumulate all the prizes. I also said that the odds between the numbers were even, but it's almost too even. In fact, I think that it's programmed so that you have to get one of each of the 12 numbers before it actually starts to give you random numbers. You won't get the prizes in numerical order, but I pulled one of each, 1 through 12, without getting any duplicates until I had them all. Rolling a 1 gets you a red sparkler. Rolling a 2 gets you a blue sparkler. A 3 gets you a fountain firework. A 4 gets you a bubble blower. Drawing a 5 gets you an Uchiwa fan. A 6 gets you a pinwheel. A 7 gets you a tweeter. I never did know what those things you blow into were called. An 8 gets you a blue balloon. Drawing a 9 rewards you with a red balloon. A 10 lands you a yellow balloon. 11 is a green balloon. And lastly, 12 is a pink balloon. I'll show you what all these prizes do, but let's talk about the gifts you can get from Isabel for a second. There are four Sundays in August, and there are four head boppers, so if you show up to each of the fireworks event, you should be able to accumulate all four different types. But there is a trick to speeding this up without time travel. If you visit a friend's town and talk to Isabel in their town square, you'll get another head bopper at random. Ah, the small pleasures in life. I actually took great joy in running around with green antenna sticking out of my head. This was a very cute event, and I hope that they do more of these in the days to come. Now I'll display all of Crazy Red's prizes. First up, sparklers. They look pretty cool, and you can't move while you're using them, but they'll give you a little bit of nostalgia, hopefully. Also, if you tap A, you'll start to wave your hand around in the air, and it adds a little bit of fun to using them. Next up is the fountain firework. This one's a little odd, as you need to drop it on the ground in order to be able to interact with it and use it. You can't use it directly out of your inventory. 
Once it's on the ground, just tapping A near it will light it and the fireworks will fly. Your character is immune to fire apparently, but as a PSA, don't stand this close to fireworks in real life. After two or three color changes, it will burn out and it will actually leave you with a piece of garbage on the ground. Make sure to pick it up so you aren't leaving trash around, but it can be disposed of in the trash can behind Crazy Red's stand, or it can even be sold to the Nooklings in the shop for Tet and Bells. Next, we have the tweeter. I kind of thought it would have a whistling sound effect, but it doesn't seem to. It just kind of blows out and has a small, subtle sound. It doesn't do much of anything, but that smile on your character's face is priceless. Now for the pinwheel. You can hit A to have your character blow into it and have it spin, but it would have made more sense if they had just made it spin around while you were running, but it doesn't really seem to. And now my favorite of the usable items, the bubble blowers. Each time you blow through the wand, bubbles appear, and each one uses one of your bubble blowers that you get, so you end up burning through the ones you've accumulated pretty quick. Here's what all of the balloons look like when you place them. You can also hold them, and I think tapping A shakes them around in your hand, but I didn't try it because I didn't want to risk letting them go or anything. Last, and maybe least, is the Uchiwa fan. You just fan yourself a little bit. There's nothing really else to it. It doesn't make much sense for me to be using it in the snow, but alas, Southern Hemisphere. The last way you can have some fun with the fireworks show is to talk to Isabel and tell her you have an idea for some fireworks. You can upload up to 10 designs, and while they won't shoot off all the time, there is a section of the fireworks show where all the ones you upload will fire in rapid succession. I uploaded 10 at the same firework for fun. Let me know in the comments if you can actually make out what it is. I'll give you two hints. The first hint is the pose, and the second hint is a song. From the United K, I'm searching for heaven. I'm going to California. <laughs> I can't even do it without laughing. Anyway, thanks for putting up with me to this point. I hope this video helps you enjoy the fireworks festival to the best of your ability and catch the cicada shell. As always, thanks for watching.